hey what is up guys so today i'm back with the next video in this video i'll show you how to airdrop onto your windows computer or airdrop from your windows computer to your apple device now this is a pretty simple process so the first thing that you want to go to is your browser so go to your browser on your windows computer and type in snapdrop.net so enter right away you will see that you are known as tura i realize that they change the username each time you use it so just know that your computer is known as this device now on your apple device you're going to want to go to so first thing you want to do is unlock your phone and then you want to go to safari so let's go over to safari and in safari you're going to want to go to snapjob.net also as you guys can see on my phone so now you see the tu Uriel, which is my windows computer on my phone is known as the coffee dragon so if you look here on screen you will also see that my phone is up here and the reason why this happened is because I'm actually on the same network as my phone. So my Windows computer is on the same network that my phone is. So yes, you need Wi-Fi to do this. But trust me, it works flawlessly. So say I want to send some pictures over to my computer from my phone that I just took. So I'm going to click on my phone right on the computer right here on my phone. And go to photo library. And... Hmm, you can even send videos to guys so let's click on this for now and hit add so it's transferring right away it pops up on my computer and all i have to do is hit save and it's right there like it's original file it's the raw footage you get no compressing or anything like that still high quality as you guys can see and you can even do this with videos i'm going to send a video right now so you guys can see that it actually works with videos so if you go here you want to want to click that you reload so all right so so if you go here click on there click there and i have a video right here and hit add this is actually 810 megabytes so that's pretty big so hit add and let's see how quick this works so it's transferring currently transferring and you can see it's loading right there so this might take some while as you guys can see it is a pretty big file so as i said it might take some while so let's wait it out so when you see this right here you guys you might be wondering did it stop? No, it didn't stop. It's still sending. So as you guys can see on my phone, it is still sending. So just wait out. Wait it out, guys. As I said, this might take some time because it's a bigger file. And you're going to want to keep on this window. I'm not sure if you can come off the window, but I just say keep on this window to be safe. And you also have a night and a dark mode. So here's the dark mode that I'm in. Here's the light mode. So dark mode, light mode, and same with the desktop version, light mode, dark mode. So it's pretty neat, as I said. So while we wait, after this, I'm going to show you how to send it from your computer. So you can also send files from your computer to your phone. Let's just say you just edit a nice TikTok video or a nice YouTube short and you want to send it over to your phone. You can do that in a quick click also but clearly one downside that i see with this so far is that the airdrop is actually really faster like i'm pretty sure airdrop will be done in seconds by sending this over to a next iphone or next apple device so that's the only downside that i see so far guys but it's a good it works that's the good thing it might take some while maybe you guys won't even be sending this large files maybe you guys will be just sending like some nice photos to edit to go back on instagram or make a nice short or a nice tiktok which is sometimes less than 100 megabytes and so on so maybe it won't be this 
long for you guys but as you guys can see it's working for me it's taking a lot of time so i'm gonna do a time lapse so you guys can see this really quick so i'm guessing doing large file might not be a good idea if you're in rush I'm just trying to be as real as possible with you guys so large files definitely takes a lot of time so try to avoid sending large files uh, my alternate way to doing this before i found this app was to actually do it through my google drive so i would log in on google drive on my phone upload it to google drive which takes a lot of time probably the same time as this and then because i'm signing on my google drive on my desktop or laptop I then go over and download it from my drive and put it onto my computer. Yes, it's a really long process. So let's see, I just want to upload a thumbnail. I took a thumbnail with my phone or whatever. I could just click in one button. It's over on my laptop or vice versa. So let's wait it out, guys. Halfway down after like four minutes in are true amazing also one more tip guys is try not to refresh your page because i'm pretty sure that would try to corrupt the file or something or stop the file from transferring so try not to reload your page just try to keep on this page right here on both screens your phone and also your computer also one more thing to add this can be done with any Apple devices, any Apple devices and any Windows computer. It doesn't have to be Windows 11 or Windows 10. You can do as long as you have an internet browser. Okay, so right there, as if as soon as it's finished, it's gonna pop up on your desktop. So it's done after like I believe. Um, nine minutes yeah that took nine minutes for 810 megabytes so it's safe and it's gonna download right away and it's gonna be playable on your computer right away in the same quality version as you guys can see I'm playing it over there yeah and that's playing pretty good same quality version now let's say I want to send it to my phone let's reload this page since I'm not seeing my device right here so let's just reload I'd have to reload my phone also. All right, here it is. Yeah. So you might have to reload. If you don't see your phone, then just reload the page. So let's click on my phone and let's just go to downloads and try to send back that same picture that I sent before. So open, transferring, transferring. If this is gonna take, it's gonna take. Wait, no, nah, I think I transferred the wrong thing. I think I transferred the video. Let me reload. So yeah, when you refresh, it crashed the the process. So let's try to do the picture. Sorry guys, I clicked on this one before instead of this one. So I actually have to go back. So open. Bada boom, it's right there. Pops up nice and crispy. You see. The thing that I like about this is that you see what you're downloading before you download it, which is really nice. So click on save, and download, and it is now download in your folder. You can head on over and check it out. Let me over first and check it out for you guys. So right there, you should see a duplicate of it. Oh, maybe it's in files. Yeah, it's in files, guys, I believe. So over here, back, downloads. Yeah, it's you have to go in files, guys, to see. So go in files and you see right there. Uh, it should be pretty good. So if you want to send multiples, let's say you want to send multiple um, images to your phone, to your computer, I should say. Just go back to the Safari app and just click on multiple so click there click there and i believe you can press and hold yeah you can select so just select these couple image 
and it's going to add them by individual so they're going to take turns so as you can see one pops up and the next one and so on so after i press save then the next one going to pop up press save then the next one going to pop up and press save then the next one going to pop up so that's pretty much it guys you can definitely send multiple um files but it's going to do them individually like it's just you're sending them individually but you just have to hit save and they come back after back and back so that was pretty much it guys let me know if this solves your issue i know a lot of you guys might have a iphone as your phone but to 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 do stuff professionally or to work or to game you're actually using a windows computer because it's maybe more convenient for you but that's a good solution out there you might be worrying about privacy actually this website is actually doesn't store your photos so it literally just upload it literally just upload your photos for you to download them so it doesn't store anything on this website right here as you guys can see above it doesn't store anything so you don't have to worry about your information being shared on that so guys that's pretty much it guys thank you guys for watching also this is a free um website so you shouldn't have to pay any money if you're paying money then it's it's not right so that's pretty much it guys let me know if this helpful for you guys leave those comments down below i will definitely read them thank you guys for watching and 10 minutes for you guys i'll see you guys i'll see you guys peace